servo motor and other we are using a another servo motor you can see here also so one is using for the triggering the bullets and uh, another one using for the angle the up and down position and also using another servo motor which is uh, rotates the right and left rotations and also we can see these two dc motors here we can see Whenever this uh, motor will be on and this uh, servo motor will trigger the bullet, then the bullet will be come outside. I will show you the power supply how it will be produced. So we are giving the power supply using this adapter. It takes 230 volts of power supply from here. And it will be uh, converted into 12 volts DC. That 12 volts DC will be given to this power jack. Using the power jack, it will take that 12 volts. That will be given LM2596. I will show you how so here we can see in this side, this side we are taking the 230 volts power supply, uh, sorry, 12 uh, volts DC power supply, that DC power supply will be given to this, so that will be given to this LM2596, so this LM2596 take the 12 volts and it will be stepped down up to 5 volts of DC, that 5 volts of DC will be given to the Arduino uh, Nano, at the same time it will give the 5 volts to the Bluetooth module and again we are using another 230 uh, uh, LM2596 buck converter so here we can see so it is taking the uh, 12 volts DC that 12 volts DC will be stepped down into 5 volts that 5 volts will be given to this track PCB so using this track PCB we are equally dividing the 5 volts power supply for the these two DC motors at the same time we are giving the 5 volts power supply for the three servo motors so we can say this is a track PCB so the main purpose of this track PCB is equally divide the 5 volts of power supply for the 3 servo motors and 2 DC motors. So in this point we are using the Arduino Nano and Bluetooth module. So this Bluetooth module is interfaced with the Arduino Nano with the UART communication. So UART is nothing but a universal asynchronous receiver and transmitter. In that, in that protocol these two devices will be communicated each other. So we will send the uh, comments using uh, Bluetooth app so that uh, comments will be received by this Bluetooth module then the Bluetooth module received comments will be sent the Arduino Nano then Arduino Nano will give the signals to the servo motors and the DC motor so we are controlling the DC motor these two DC motors using this switch I will show you there so we can see this is a switch so when we on this power supply so now I am doing the power supply right now so you can see if I on these two DC motor will on and you can see the noise of the DC motor also so when we on the power supply we can see the light indication over there which means this uh, system is in on position so if you want to create the Bluetooth module so first of all we need to go for the Bluetooth settings I will show you how so go to the uh, Bluetooth settings uh, create a new device so we can see here HSC05 we need to create this one So it will ask password, so password should be 1, 2, 3, 4 and ok. Now it is saved here, we need to connect that XA0 of this booth mode in another app. I will show you where it is. So we can see uh, this booth mode LFK to rent. So we need to go for this app. So it is also available in Play Store. 
we need to go for this one now we need to connect the both module here so uh, here we can see hc05 we need to pair this one so now so it is showing the error so which means we need to go for the back again we need to remove from the recent tab again we need to come for the this app so now it is in on position we can uh, control this angles using this one so now i am control this one so we can see this is the right and left positions and this side will be the up and down positions now i am setting that side to trigger the bullet right we need to trigger that side so we need to here we can say motor is in on position we need to off this one and again we need to on this switch now i am shooting the bullet so we can see this triggering you can see there also and again we need to insert the bullets like this now the bullets are loaded i will show you again Now again I have loaded the bullets now I'm on the power supply so now I'm shooting here So in this way, this part is up. Thanks for the watching.